Whispers of the Vanished, a tale from the echoes of the apocalypse in the silent cocoon of a sterile hospital room. Adam awoke with a sharp gasp. The hum of medical machinery and the antiseptic scent assaulted his senses. Disoriented, he tried to piece together the fragments of his consciousness, but the memories were elusive, slipping through his mind like shadows. The last thing he remembered was a blinding light and the screech of twisting metal. His eyes flickered open, adjusting to the dim glow filtering through the partially closed blinds. The room felt different, wrong. A chill slithered down his spine as he realized the oppressive silence. No distant chatter of nurses, no beeping monitors, just an eerie void. Dragging himself into a sitting position, Adam's eyes widened in disbelief as he surveyed the desolation outside the window. The once bustling cityscape lay in ruins. Skyscrapers stood as skeletal remnants, their shattered windows reflecting the ghostly pallor of a world undone. An ominous haze hung in the air, casting everything in a sickly, sepulchral light. With trembling hands, Adam tore at the tubes and wires attached to him, his movements frantic. The world beyond the hospital room was no longer recognizable. The streets, once teeming with life, were now littered with debris and abandoned vehicles. Silence reigned, interrupted only by the mournful howling of a distant wind that carried the scent of ash. Staggering out into the hallway, Adam's voice echoed through the empty corridors, a desperate cry in the void. The remnants of the hospital were hauntingly quiet, devoid of the usual bustle. Panic set in as he stumbled upon abandoned rooms, each one telling a tale of sudden evacuation, beds left unmade, medical equipment strewn about in haste. As Adam ventured outside, the magnitude of the catastrophe unfolded before him. The sky, once a vibrant canvas of blue, was now a sickly gray, choked by ominous clouds that seemed to pulse with an unnatural energy. An oppressive stillness settled over the landscape, broken only by the occasional creak of a swinging sign or the distant, haunting echo of a lonely bird. He wandered through the silent streets, the world a canvas of desolation. Buildings leaned precariously, their facades scarred by the remnants of some cataclysmic event. The air felt heavy with an unspoken grief, a sorrow that lingered in the shadows of the ruined city. As Adam walked, he realized that he was not alone. Shapes moved in the periphery of his vision, flickering like elusive specters. He could almost hear distant whispers carried by the wind, words that seemed to carry the weight of a world that had crumbled into the abyss. Haunted by the eerie stillness and the unsettling presence that lingered in the air, Adam embarked on a journey into the post-apocalyptic unknown, his every step unraveling the mystery of a world that had ended while he slept, Adam's journey through the desolate cityscape became a surreal odyssey, a walk through the graveyard of a civilization that once thrived. The remnants of human life were scattered like forgotten artifacts, abandoned cars, discarded belongings, and the occasional skeletal remains of buildings that once stood tall. As he moved further into the heart of the decaying city, Adam began to notice peculiar signs. Strange symbols were painted on walls, cryptic messages that seemed to speak of desperation and despair. Whispers of a nameless dread hung in the air, and the shadows played tricks on his mind, morphing into elusive figures that melted away when he turned to confront them. In his search for answers, 
Adam stumbled upon a makeshift camp at the edge of the city. Tattered tents flapped in the wind, and the flickering light of a small bonfire revealed the gaunt faces of survivors huddled together for warmth. They regarded him with hollow eyes, eyes that had witnessed the end of the world. A weathered man with a beard approached Adam, his gaze penetrating through the layers of fatigue and sorrow. You woke up, he muttered, his voice a raspy whisper. Thought you were gone like the rest of them. Adam struggled to comprehend the man's words. Gone? What happened here? Where is everyone? The survivor's eyes flickered with a mixture of pity and resignation. It's like the world just gave up. No warning, no reason. People vanished, cities fell. We're the leftovers, the ones who woke up to a nightmare. As the survivor spoke, a distant howl echoed through the skeletal buildings. The others in the camp tensed, their eyes darting fearfully toward the sound. The wraiths, the weathered man explained, his voice barely audible. They're the shadows of the lost. Whispers say they take those who are left, one by one, into the abyss. Adam felt a shiver crawl down his spine. The mention of the wraiths sent a chill through the air, and he realized that the flickering figures he had seen earlier might not have been mere tricks of his imagination. With a heavy heart, Adam understood that the world he once knew had become a desolate theater of shadows and whispers, haunted by an unknown force. Determined to unravel the mystery and confront the truth that eluded him, he set out into the unknown, where the echoes of a world's end mingled with the spectral remnants of those who had vanished. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.